So one of the reasons why I came to Korea is First off, I'm on winter break and school was completely remote after Thanksgiving. Um, another big reason why I had to come back home and not stay in Pittsburgh is because my grandfather has been sick for the past five months and on the 22nd, um, he passed away and my family has been spending the past three days at my grandpa's funeral and it kind of, you know, just like makes me feel a little bit more calmed to know that he's not in pain anymore. Um, like our family was very lucky to have that period of farewell, like seeing his health deteriorate. We were able to, you know, talk to him. We were able to, you know, be by his side until the last moment. I am so, so grateful that, you know, I, my sister and I weren't in the States when it happened. Even though this is like a huge loss to us, we're trying to see everything on the brighter side. I guess I, what I'm really feeling is that like 2020 is, it's been a very like dramatic year. I'm just ready for it to be over and for us, all of us, like for the world to start a new chapter, hopefully for better or worse. So I quickly got ready because my family and I have a dinner reservation at the Marriott. Um, they have a buffet and we made the reservation like even before my sister and I came to Korea because we really like the food there. Because she's not a student anymore, uh, it's getting harder for Jen to come to Korea and do stuff. So she really wanted to go to this buffet um, for a very long time. So we just decided we're going to go. Um, I think we're just going to be super duper careful. Um, just constantly have our masks on when we're not eating and you know. We're at the hotel. There has been a slight last minute change to my outfit due to mama's request. Um, we're still waiting for our reservation, which is in like 15 minutes. So we're all dressed up, so we're gonna take some photos and have some fun and you know the drill. Bye bye. So today is the 31st, the last day of 2020, um, and I didn't really have any plans. And then literally yesterday, um, past midnight, my friend HeJ and I decided to meet up. I've arrived already. I'm waiting for her to come. For some reason, for some reason, I was feeling. Oh my god. For some reason, I was. For some reason, I was feeling really lethargic, but it feels nice to, you know, just like get ready and um, just come out. Yeah. We couldn't decide on food, so we're going to this place that she decided for us. Can you go alone? Got you go.
drinking a Moscato. Apparently, oh my god, this is so heavy. <laughs> We're drinking this Moscato. We, I've never heard of it. Before. It was just like the cheapest bottle here. So yeah, cheap queens. <laughs> Now we're waiting to take some photo booth pic with one and only Okay, so we literally brought this Moscato bottle from the restaurant because we wanted it in our shot. Make sure your eyes are <gasps> This is actually pretty special because, what is it, four years ago? Four years ago, we actually took a very similar photo booth type thing <laughs> on the 31st when we had our like New Year's party at home. So I just came back from my grandma's place. Unfortunately, this year, my grandpa isn't here with us, so we went to my grandma's place. I looked at some of the photos of my grandpa when he was younger, and you know, we just like went through his stuff. There were so many old photos and um, so many negatives that I actually wanna scan myself. Anyway, it was very meaningful and it was very fun. Um, it's around like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and I kinda wanna spend the day like cleaning my room like decluttering a little bit because I still have stuff from my high school I still have like my AP binders from high school it's just living rent free in my room so obviously I don't need them anymore so I think we might do that 